not much I can do this way because it's not like blocking the damn path, but we're gonna do what we can. Get it out of the way. Really? You're just gonna tell me there's a man fishing? Oh, it was worth it to come here. We got TM50 roost. There's a couple of trainers here, though. A little bit weird, that bridge. What's up? I believe this guy has all magic cards, and that's gonna piss me off if he does. <coughs> nope, scar you. Okay, cool. Okay, a little bit different. Once we get stuck by the Snorlax, we'll go back to where we're supposed to be going. He only has one star you at level 27, so this is some decent XP that we're gonna get. I can't get the Pokeball. But I can get this one. Alright, now we fight. I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I didn't fight him before, but... It's all good. So he just got a Poliwhirl. That's decent. Don't think I've seen a Poliwag in this game yet. Almost at... Whoa, why can't I... Oh, he moved right at the last second. Okay, why didn't we fight? <laughs> oh, this guy's got three Pokemon. That's not cool. Keeping it out. There's the power wag that we were looking for. And a seeking. Okay, that's cool. This guy actually has some decent team. Well, I mean, not a great team, but. Decent for me because I get to fill up some Pokedex slot. Two Pokemon there that I haven't seen yet. Starlight, you should be coming up soon. Guess not. I got a lot more trainers to defeat. Where are you at, Snorlax? Okay, so I got two Pokemon. Oh, wow. Didn't expect that to come out. At all, that's weird. Ah! 
one shot of the Gyarados, so that's so bad. That's when you know the game's rigged. And then your second Pokemon is a magic card. What the hell? Why didn't you let this one evolve? It's level 27. Crazy stuff. There he is. Alright, one more dude. A non-fisherman. It's an Ace Trainer, okay. And he has a Tangela. Another new Pokemon. Tangela has always, always been a weird Pokemon. I just want to get the Paralyzed off. Maybe I wanted to make sure. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to see. He has two Pokemon too. I do have one. Gonna be an interesting fight, this one. All right, so it's paralyzed, so it's slower than me no matter what. I'm gonna go ahead and just start spamming through this fight. One down, one to go, what do we got? It's an ace trainer, so it's gotta be something special. On it, it's okay, that's not special. It is a high level though, but we got one shot. Four heal. Got ultra balls from this guy. And more. Perfect. Okay, let's go back. Got a lot more challenges to do today. Because I want to still get to Celadon City. Once we've gotten there, then I can call it. There's a lot of trainers left though, that's the thing. I like to see. Go in there in a bit. Down some.
Bring it on, Master Dojo Dude. Imagine walking around with your karate outfit. For real, this isn't Halloween, my bro. And why are you rocking a sea key, dude? What's up with the craziness here? Level 35! That's stronger than me! See, there's always that... There's always that one random Pokemon that's like... That Pokemon trainer that's like, Bro, who are you? Every time you find these guys, this guy, this, I think it's the same one. Every time they're these dudes, the karate guys, they got some nasty Pokemon. There's a Raticate in there, that's not good to see. Aiden is such a nerdy name, right? Like, I know two Aidens, they're both nerds. Oh, I know, I know four Aidens. Three of them are nerds. Attack. Done. Because he only has the top. Alright, another strong trainer. Fight you. I'm gonna clear this whole route and then go back to the grass. Jolteon, here we go. Evolution number two. And that's all he has. He's good. Not what I wanted to see. Because I don't want to miss. I should be in quick attack range here. If not, should be good enough to where burn finishes off. We should be fine though. Yeah. back for that dude because he's powerful three more trainers to go tried to bypass him to go into saffron but I know I can't get into saffron I just want to go in the building and get told that the guy wants tea all right Ooh, cool he's got one Pokemon too one shot with Sizzly Slide. <laughs> Alright, in here we go. T-Boy. Alright, piss off. Alright, let's go fight those two girls. No double battles, man. <clears throat> she, she said meow, so I'm assuming she has a meow. Yep. 
Oh, whoa, she's got three Pokemon. That's not what I want to see. No one wanted to see that. No, don't flinch. Fuck. Oh my gosh, you have three Meowths? Are you kidding me? How boring is her team? Like the worst Pokemon in the game for Generation 1. Alright, I wonder what this other girl has, because this one's kind of boring. Watch, Persian. At least throw in a Persian. Three Meow. I hate when trainers have the same Pokemon over and over again, because you use the same move and one shot them. Not bad, Venonite's getting some levels in. Alright, it's cool. Let's go ahead and uh, get two more trainers to go here. In this route. And then we're going to go ahead and check out the grass. See what type of Pokemon we can get there. We're not going to spend all day. If there's any new ones to capture, I will. Pikachu, cool. She's, she, she's different, and she has one Pokemon. Still, I can only use this side. One shot. That was good. And this guy's powerful. Let's see what he's got. So watch him have one Pokemon, and it's got a lot of uh, just a high level. Rhyhorn, one Pokemon, yes. So everything else is around level 27. This guy's at 35. This guy's pretty tough, not gonna lie. I one-shotted him though. I didn't expect that, but the full health is lit. Let's go check out this grass. Oh, there's actually a trainer in here. Firestones, I could get a flurry on. However, a Pidgey and Eradicate, not so great. Don't really want to see that. Two Pokemon here. A cool, okay, so this is the best trainer I've seen on the whole block. Got a Kadabra. That's very nice to see. Because you don't see too many of those. One shotted. What else do you got? A Machoke and a Kadabra. She's cool. She knows what's up. She's going for the Machamp and Alakazam OP Pokemon Quest team. 1 out of 10. How fun is this game? I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Not gonna lie. Thank you very much for tuning in, Lazy Boy Chino. Uh, I'd give this a 9 out of 10. This is probably one of the best Pokemon games that they've ever made. Besides Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, which is my favorite. But they did a great job with this game. If you want to see some more, continue tuning in. To the rest of this live stream, we're almost done here. Or uh, check out our walkthrough videos on our Pokemon Let's Go playlist. Much appreciated if you can. But I really love this game, I'm not gonna lie. They did a great job with it. Getting there. Almost got a Pidgey up. Alright. Anything else gonna spawn here in this route, or no? Not really a fan of a Radicate and a Pidgey. There's a Krabby. Oh no, Vulpix. Krabby. Fuck me. Can you explain why it's a 9? Of course I can explain why it's a 9. Give me a second here. So. First of all, I'm a huge fan of Pokemon. So. 
I was very skeptical on how this would work. So first of all, with this game, it's hard to explain. So where can I start? So let me start with the original games. So original Pokemon based off of their generations, like Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow, Pokemon Silver, uh, Gold, Crystal, all the way to Pokemon Sun and Moon. The core focus in that, to me, was to simply level up Pokemon, get the best Pokemon you can, defeat the game, and after that, whatever's post-game related, collect legendaries, online battling, strengthen your team, and get the best EVs and IV stacks that you can possibly get. That's cool. That's what that game was about. So how I would approach that game, I'd defeat it by get, finding my favorite starter, first of all, which is starting off with my favorite starter. And then the remaining five Pokemon slots, I would choose my favorite Pokemon from that gen that I see beforehand. And I might not even like six Pokemon, so I would just go with maybe three Pokemon or just my starter, defeat the game. After that, start collecting, and that's it. And to be honest, catching Pokemon in those games is a very tedious task. I hate it, but it doesn't matter. So, that's how the old games were. This game, on a new level, is how Pokemon should have been from the start. They just didn't have the capabilities and that's not how they did it. So this game, what's great about this game? So, um, first of all, starting off with the starters, you got Pikachu and Eevee to choose from. This is generation one. Um, they've done a great job with the distribution of wild Pokemon. Um, you don't just find the trashy Zubats and Geodudes in certain locations. You can actually find their evolved forms like Gravelers and Golbats. And it makes sense because if you were to play this game as if you were in the game, those are the Pokemon that you would see in those locations. So they've done their best to bring a bunch of Pokemon. The wild Pokemon distribution is just great so far. Number two, the difficulty of this game. It's actually good. Um, it allows new people to play this game. So it's easy enough for new people to come into this game, but for those of you that are veterans, it's very fun because, I mean, you storm in through it. It does get a little bit more difficult towards the end, I've heard. But, I mean, if you've played Pokemon your whole life like I have since 1996, this is freaking cakewalk. But that's what you expect from a Pokemon game. But so far, it's been pretty good. Um, next up, the graphics, the visuals, the... It's just great. They, they have, they have, it's just so cool. Like, look at the background. I'm, I'm catching a Pokemon in the background. You get to throw Pokeballs. That's cool and all. Um, but what I love about this game is bringing back to what I was talking about for like the other generations, where your main goal is to get the strongest Pokemon and complete the game, and that's it. This game, catching Pokemon is actually fun. And I'm not talking about you throwing Pokeballs and stuff. It's, it's like a side quest that's a purpose. Like when you watch the anime, Ash's goal is to complete the Pokedex by capturing Pokemon, sending them to Professor Oak. That's kind of what we're able to do here on the side of leveling our Pokemon. There's a, there's a reason to capturing Pokemon in this game, which no other Pokemon game ever had a reason to capture Pokemon for. Unless it was a shiny, unless it was a Pokemon that you wanted, and that was pretty much it. The, the way that this game is made compared to all the other Pokemon games, it's great. And of course, can't say enough, it's on the Nintendo Switch, which they need to stop releasing games for the 3DS because this is absolutely amazing. And also, I can go on to more details. Um, I'm a huge Pokemon Go fan, but I haven't played it in years. And I, this game's making me want to get back into it, which I'm assuming is why they made this game. But this game is just so, it's making me want to get into Pokemon Go, but they brought the greatest things, the greatest aspects from Pokemon Go mobile game and Pokemon handheld games and put it into one. And this is how Pokemon should be. Sadly, Volpix ran away because I sat here talking all day, but it doesn't matter. I can get a Volpix anytime I want. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I hope that I explained it. I do believe I have forgot a couple of things but I have explained it in a lot of my videos that I've been playing this game I've live streamed this game this is my fourth day in a row now ever since it's been out there's another Volpix and this is a large Volpix too so this is better um, but yeah I mean I hope that explains it but I have talked about that a lot in my previous videos but if you got more questions hit me up
I'm always down to answer. <clears throat> this is a, it's a great game. The only two games that I put above this in the Pokemon franchise is Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Because this is how... This game is exactly how Pokemon should be. What? Volp okay, Volpix, you're pissing me off now. I really want a Volpix, but... Why? Why you do, why, why you do this? Yeah. Alright, Volpix, come on. Let me capture you this time. I'm gonna go all out. Alright, so we're going all out on this one. I want to make sure I get this Volpix so I can uh, get out of this route. I mean, a lot of people like the ability to throw Pokeballs. That's cool and all. But just gameplay in this, they've just done it's such a they've done such a great job, and it's not exactly a replica of Generation One. It's a, it closely resembles Generation One. I don't know if you know anything about World of Warcraft, but it's a game that I like to play. They're bringing back classic World of Warcraft. This is pretty much how this is, and they're basically bringing in an old game and giving it tools to like, like classic Pokemon was made in 96. So they're remaking this game so that, I mean, everything that video games have nowadays, we've advanced very far in video games. This is, this is getting it. All right, so I'm struggling here. We gotta, we gotta do some changes. I gotta get a raspberry out. I gotta do this quick, get in the bag. Uh, let's go ahead and throw, you know what? First Ultra Ball we've ever used. Let's do this. Make life easy. Great throw. Ultra Ball. Green circle. This should be cake. It's a waste of an Ultra Ball, but I want to make sure I get this Pokemon. It's new to the team. And I kind of like it. Sadly, I can't get Growlithe, which I I like over Volpix, but I'll eventually get one. I got a really good Arcanine that I can trade in from Pokemon Go, but... I don't think I'll do that. Alright, we out. Celadon, here I come. Alright. But for those of you tuning in, thank you all very much for tuning in. If you got questions, again, don't hesitate to post in live stream chat or in the comment section when this goes live on my YouTube channel. Um, we're almost at 2,000 subs, so if you guys can, go ahead and subscribe to us today. Hit us up with that sub. Uh, we are doing Pokemon Let's Go walkthrough until we complete this game. Um, just to let you guys know, I am making sure I do everything in this game. So I do talk to every NPC. I do move around and spam the A button to make sure I find all hidden items. So I make sure I'm not missing anything in this game. There we go. I knew it was somewhere towards the end. Oh, thank you very much for the sub, bro. Much appreciated. What does CP mean? Uh, CP is... Um, one second. Combat points. Ah, uh, there it is. CP's combat points. And basically, combat points are a continuation from Pokemon Go, which is the mobile game. Um, leveling up and your, basically, your stats come from your combat points. So let me go ahead and show you an example really quick. Alright. So if I go to Pokemon in here, let's go. Ah, my bad. Wrong, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. I meant to go to my party. There we go. So I'm going to show Eevee for example. Check summary. So Eevee, currently level 36, as you can see. Where is it? There we go. So Eevee is currently level 36 and its CP is 1129. That is... That's combat power. So it's basically an additional stat besides HP, special attack attack, special defense, defense, and speed. Combat power is how strong it can be, and um, it's basically based off of that specific Pokemon being Eevee and the current level, and it comes from Pokemon Go, because in Pokemon Go and here, you can trade your Pokemon from your mobile device into this game, so they're basically, it's, inter it's interchangeable, but it means combat power, so it's how strong your Eevee is, or your Pokemon is based off of its stats and based off of its level.
Okay, so there's another trainer here. There's a Jigglypuff up there. I've already got one. Don't really need to get that. Well, thank you very much for the sub, lazy boy. But basically, combat power, um, I mean, how do I explain it? It's an easy, it's easy to explain. Basically, CP is VIP status of the Pokemon world, and it basically, I don't know, it's a... Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try to figure out an easy way to explain it, but it is basically combat power. It is what, it is what it is. Like, there is a cap for combat power, too. Go ahead and use quick attack. But yeah, okay, so I've I've been thinking about it. So the easiest way to put combat power is because it, it's at, it's basically the combined stat of HP, attack, special attack, defense, special defense, and um, fuck, I can't even think of the last one. I think crit or something like that. So it's all of your stats combined, all six stats, put into one, and you'll get your combat power. And it also, based off of the level, it increases, of course, with the rest of your stats. Uh, let's go ahead and use Bouncy Bubble. But if you- oh no. I didn't even notice. Earthquake. Six feet Earthquake. Earthquake. Almost at Celadon City. She's got one more Pokemon left. She's not easy. Why do you have a HP bar for yourself? Oh, that HP bar. Uh, you're talking about Okay, so you act you dealt damage to me. So how that works is one second. So sh I use a program called Stream Elements, which is as you can see in my chat, it's it's something that bots my uh, my chat and makes live streams a little bit more fun. For example, if I type this in chat, it'll give you a page that you can go to. I don't have that many commands yet. It'll give you a page on my um, stream elements account. Uh, she's gonna die. First time. Oh no, she's still alive. But basically, what it is is it gives you um, like combat. I mean, like uh, co commands that you can put in chat. Like for example, a fall is for the win. Itachi, cool. Uh, you can ask questions to an eight ball, and it'll say something. And what's the response gonna be? Uh, the eight ball says doubt, but we'll fuck you then, stream elements saying I'm not cool. Let me go ahead and heal up my Pokemon. So what that health part is, it's simply a way to make donations and people that subscribe to my channel a little bit more fun and cool. Um, you deal damage to me, so anytime someone donates or anytime someone subscribes to the channel, I take damage. Once I die, someone else, whoever dealt the killing blow, then takes over. Now, I'm not someone big on requiring people to donate to the channel. I just thought this would make a cool little uh, side aspect to uh, my videos and stuff and to my live streams. I will be in the near future. Right now, I do giveaways whenever I reach a certain milestone with subscribers. For example, at 2000, I will be doing another giveaway. I will be doing giveaways whenever people defeat me while I am live streaming. And then I will be doing a, I basically drop loot or I drop like items. In, in a way, to when people kill me, and then I will go ahead and do a giveaway the next live stream. But whenever other people die, that's not me. I won't be able to do giveaways all, that much, but you know what I mean. That's pretty much what it is. So when you 
when you donate or when you when you donate or when you uh, subscribe people can deal damage to me and I'm almost dead where do I got I'm at 250 health wait okay so I didn't go here okay this is the other way into the city right yeah so this is the so it's her she gave him freaking crunchies and now they're what that's why they're thirsty all right so there was vulpix over here I don't want it. Alright, we got a coach trainer. These are the ones that are like more powerful. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this guy. I forget what my stats are for when you do donate. I think it's a hundred per donation. And a hundred per sub. I think it's a hundred. I take a hundred damage. I'll find out right now. I'll actually look it up. I have a list. Let's go here. Uh, Streamelements.com. Farfetch. Buzzy buzz. And let's go into here. Check out how much damage you guys can do. I could. Oh, I don't have any more PP. Fine. Uh, where you at? There you go. Alright, so whenever you guys subscribe, I take 100 damage. And whenever someone tips, I take 10 damage per dollar. So, $10, I take 100 damage. I'm sorry, Evie, but sometimes that happens. It actually never happens. I just really haven't been paying attention this past couple of fights. Alright, let's make life easy. Don't know why I summoned you, because uh, you're facing up against a water, I mean a flying type. But uh, I want to bring back Eevee. And Ivysaur has some decent defense to survive. The cave, yeah, we're good. We're good. And we switch you out. Go get him, Eevee. How are we gonna do this? Stop! Doing so much damage! Alright, fine, bag. I think we're going all out. Yep, we're going all out. Let's do this. It's the only one that's really gonna fully heal me in one go, so. Oh, Celadon City, where are you at? <laughs> I've been close for so long, but there's been so many battles. Quick attack should actually finish this off. Alright, he's got one more Pokemon. I told you guys, the coach trainers are the ones that make this a little bit difficult. But they're so easy to do. Psybeam? Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, this is where I do. I'm getting rid of it now. Wiggly tough. Are you sick? Come on, man. No one wants to face off against a wiggly tough. I have to use bouncy bubble now. And bouncy bubble doesn't deal that much damage. Stupid defense on a wiggly tough is OP. No. You know what? It actually gives me time to do something, so we're good. Ether. This is slide because it's the only one that really does damage. I don't think I had any more awakenings, and I couldn't be bothered to look. Got damaged though. Alright, we're going in. Ah, 
Ow! Why are you hurt, fam? Go away! No one wants you, Wigglytuff. Are you... Oof! We're almost done. I'm happy. We got so much done today, but I feel like I didn't even get anywhere. I got through... The only town I got through was... Lavender. Everything else has been the in-between. But... We've arrived, and that means we're done for the night. But thank you all very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day.